Hey Unity fans, this is JNM and today I'll show you a great asset called Umotion that makes editing skeletal animations inside of Unity possible. I will demonstrate this by an example for my Unity Low Poly Game Kit. Currently my player does not play a pickup animation when he collects items. So I would create it with Blender or Maya and import it into Unity, but with Umotion you can do this directly in the Unity editor. I know this sounds awesome, so let's have a closer look here. I'm downloading Umotion Pro Animation Editor and there's also a free version that you can check out as well. Both links are added to the description below. After downloading Umotion, there are two new windows available. The first one is the Clip Editor that looks like the Unity timeline for animations. And like any other editor window, you can dock it here as a tab. The other window is the Pose Editor that I open and dock here to the right side. Okay, and the first thing that I do is to create a new Umotion project. My character has a generic rig, so I choose generic. Let's call it Umotion character for example and press save. Alright, now we have a project and there is by default a new clip added that is called clip1. Then I open the properties and I will name this clip pickup. This will be the name of the animation we are going to create. Then I close this dialog and to start editing my pickup animation, I have to drag the character into the slot game object to animate of the pose editor. After I did this, the rig is detected and the configuration for this rig is created. And look at this what happened, I can see the bones of the character's armature and I will be able to use the Unity tools like Move, Scale and Rotate to transform these bones. Here I'm using the Rotate tool and the handling is really like you know it from other animation editors like Maya or Blender and you are able to create new animations for generic and humanoid rigs but you can import and edit existing animations as well. And this is something that makes this asset really great in my opinion. Okay, let's go ahead and create our first keyframes on the first frame. So I select all the bones by pressing Ctrl and A. And after that, I press the return key. Then a dialog pops up. And here you can define if you want to add keyframes for scale, rotation or position or for all of these transformations and I choose all. You could also press the S key. Okay, now I press Ctrl C, move the slider to the frame that I want to be the last animation frame and press Ctrl V to paste it. And then I have an animation with the same start and end frame. Now I move the slider to position in the middle of the animation and here I will add a pose where the character is picking up something. First I will rotate the bones of the leg because the character has to kneel down. Then I switch here to the select tool so that I can select bones without having the gizmo active and after that I press return to add keyframes for these bones. Okay, for the lag you can already see an animation, but adding the keyframes manually takes a lot of time. So I switch here to generate, so that every time when I transform a bone, a new keyframe is added automatically. With this option enabled, I add new rotations, and as you can see, the keyframes are inserted. Now I want to have the same pose for the right leg and Umotion has a nice feature to copy this. You just select the bones that you want to copy and then in the pose editor you press the button copy to other side. And here we go, now I bring the character down by selecting the hips and then I use the move tool to move him downwards. The move tool you can select with the W key and the rotation tool with the E key. I rotate the bones now to let the character bend forward. After that I select and rotate the bones of the right arm to create a simple pickup pose. This pickup animation won't be for the sake of this tutorial too perfect, it is just to demonstrate how to create an animation and how to use it in your game. For the frames in which the character is a bit sunken into the ground I move him upwards to correct this, 
but in one of the next tutorials I will show you how to add inverse kinematics with U-Motion that makes posing the character for animations like this much easier. Ok, I will stick to this, it was created in about 5 minutes. The next step will be to export this animation and to use it in the animator controller of the character. Here's another feature that I want to show you, if your animation is for example too fast or too slow, you can select all the keyframes and scale the animation to make it faster or slower. Ok, but I go back to the original scale, it was just fine, and now I go ahead and export the animation. I choose File, Export, and I export the current clip. But I didn't define an export destination, this is why this dialog pops up. And in this you can also define the file format, in which you want to export your animation, FBX is supported, but currently for Windows OS only. For the destination I created an anim asset folder to that I browse here. After that I close this dialog and export again. As a result we get an animation and an animator controller. The animator controller we don't need because we already assigned an animator controller to the character. So what I do now is to open this animator controller and drag the newly created pickup animation into the editor of the animator. Then a new state is created and to be able to activate this in my script I will create a trigger. I will call this tr underscore pickup. So first I create a new transition from the idle to the pickup state and then I define the new trigger. The trigger I use as condition for the transition from idle to pickup state and after the pickup animation is finished I return to the idle state. Ok, nice, but I don't want the player to pick up the item immediately after I started the pickup animation, because this looks a bit strange, right? I want the collected item to disappear at about this frame here. So what I do is to create an animation event and call this pickup item. And this can also be done directly here in the clip editor of Umotion. Usually after you added this a warning appears that the function you just defined couldn't be found in your code. But in my code there actually is a method defined called pickup item which I created in the player controller script. You remember when the player is near an item, you can press the F key to collect it and then this method is called, you can see this here in the script. But I will remove it now and just activate the trigger. Why? Well, when I do this, the animation is played, then the animation event is fired and my pickup item method is called at the right time because it is invoked by the animation event. So we are done, let's start the game and test it. Ok, I'm near the item, I press F, the pickup animation is played, the X is collected and added to the inventory. So as you can see you can create new animations really fast for your characters with the U-Motion asset. It also works for humanoid animations, this is awesome and I think I will use it pretty often. So guys I hope you liked this asset and this tutorial and if you like my channel then please don't forget to subscribe. If you want to support me please think about being my patron, this would really help this channel grow. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.